Hi, in this video today I'm going to be taking out the exhaust camshaft Vanos solenoid and then I'm going to be adding 12 volts to it to see it operate and then I'm going to be putting it back in. So first things first we have to open up the bonnet. Now the keys are out of the car and the ignition is not on. For this I am leaving the battery connected. So to gain access to it, we have to undo this here. So we've got three screws, one here, one here, and one here, and they're Torx 20, T20. And it's just lefty-loosey as normal. So counterclockwise. Now we're gonna slide this back here, and we need to pull the hose away towards the middle of the car. There we go. That's out. Now, the exhaust of Vanos solenoid is this bottom one here. The top one is the intake, the bottom one is the exhaust, this one here. So first things first, we're gonna undo the electrical connection by just pushing in on that little metal bit and sliding it out like there. So you can see how easy that is. It just clicks in like so, and you just press in here and slide it out, like so. We now need to get a 10 millimeter socket to undo that bolt. And again, counterclockwise. There we go. Now when you pull this out, a bit of oil will come out of it. So I'm just putting an old cloth down just underneath it, just to try to collect some of the oil. Unlike me, you should be wearing gloves when you do this. And I want to try to loosen it up. So I'm just going to get a screwdriver and I need to try to work it up and down a little bit to try to get some movement out of it. You could try to use some penetrating oil. There we go. I'm just using the top one as a lever to try to get it started. You've got to be gentle because it's an aluminium block. Well, that seems fairly loose. So you can see now I'm moving it from here. So now I'm going to move this electrical connector up here so I can kind of get my finger underneath here and hopefully then I can prise it out. So I've got a couple of fingers underneath the electrical connector and a finger underneath this bit here, and I'm hoping it will pop out. There we go. Right, now you will have a plastic collar and you'll also have a rubber O-ring. The O-ring might be stuck in there. Obviously when you're doing this, you're dealing with oil, so you should be wearing gloves. There we go, that's it here. So that's the plastic collar and that's the o-ring if your o-ring's not there you're going to have to just get your finger in here and just take the o-ring out from this entrance bit right let's bring this down to the shed and put 12 volts in it so i'm going to turn on this old bench power supply here and i'm going to go to 12 volts there we go obviously if you haven't got one of these you can use a battery with some crocodile clips on the car battery and then onto the uh, solenoid itself. Okay, so if you have a look here, you can see that we have two little contacts. So we're gonna be applying 12 volts to there. Polarity is not important here, so it doesn't matter whether you go positive negative or negative positive, they're both gonna operate the solenoid. So if I was to go here and here, hopefully you will hear it operating. There you go, and just let go after each time, don't hold it on there. Hopefully you hear that working, and if I swap the leads. That's working there. I'm just gonna zoom in to try to show you it actually uh, moving. Well, hopefully you'll be looking just in here, hopefully you'll see something. So, black lead up top, red at the bottom, and hopefully you'll see that moving. So when I hold it, it stays down, let go, it comes back up. And now if I put the black lead at the bottom and red lead up the top, so swap it around, you will still see that it will 
move. So it only moves very small amounts. So what you can do is, if yours is very dirty, you can get some brake cleaner and you can spray it all around the place. Hopefully you can get it moving again. So you might find that your one's blocked, might not be moving at all, in which case then if cleaning it doesn't work, you're gonna to have to buy a new one. Even cleaning it might only be a short term measure and then you'll have to buy a new one anyway. But if you're having problems and they're related to the exhaust van a solenoid, then hopefully by cleaning it or swapping it out, that might solve your problem. As you can see, it's very easy to get to. All right, let's uh, put it back in. Make sure that the collar is on here and that the O-ring is on top of that. So collar on first, then the O-ring. The solenoid that I've just taken out is actually a new one. I'm just doing this purely for the video. If you look at these pictures, this is what the original ones look like. Very dirty indeed, intake and exhaust. And I did clean them. It worked for a short amount of time, but then it failed again. Hence the reason I bought new ones. Okay, so I'm gonna be placing this in. I'm just gonna use a little bit of oil just on the O-ring just to help it slide in a bit easier. And it's gonna go in the same way as this one here with the electrical connector down here and the hole up here. Now, line it up, it's gonna take quite a bit of strength to actually push it fully home. There we go. And now wiggle it until that hole lines nicely up with the screw thread. Just gonna put it in by hand so I know I haven't cross threaded it. There we go, going in lovely and easy. And now I'm just going to nip it up. So we're going clockwise now. There will be a torque setting for this, but I'm just doing it just because we're only in aluminium, so I don't want to do it tight. I'm just nipping it up like so. There we go. And we're going to be plugging this back in. So line it up there, connect connector out this way, and it will just click in like so. So that's it, now we just need to put the front little cover back on. I'm just removing any excess oil that's come out. I'm gonna line up these front bits first and then do the hose. There we go. And I'm just gonna do these up. I'm only going into plastic so again I'm just nipping it up. So there we go, job done. As you can see, it's very easy to get to. So hopefully cleaning them might work on yours, but if not, if you do have to replace them, at least you know, apart from the cost of buying a new one, it is easy to get to. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.